Hi, my name is Natasha Luna and my experience with a natural disaster was in 2017. I was living in Mexico and my grandmother from Argentina just came to visit and we were at the pyramids of Teotihuacan and I just leave her just for 10 minutes uh, uh, sit on a bench because if you have been there you know that there are really really long distance and she was like 80, 81 years old so I just went to see the path if it was okay or so long and when I just came back my grandmother said to me the bench moved so I take my phone and I, the first thing that I saw was like a message from my dad from Bariloche, Argentina, like so far away that asking me if I was okay. So then I realized that something happened and what this like terrible earthquake. earthquake. Um, it was unbelievable because I didn't feel anything and we were in and that amazing and sacred place where anything just can't fall down up to us was a really secure place so we were really blessed to be there of course I take my phone and I start like asking all of my friends if they were okay if their houses were okay so the phone started like being vital and fundamental on that moment for me it was weird because from <laughs> in one way I was like really worried about what was going on and on the other side, the other side was trying not to worry my grandmother, just okay, this is so weird, let's have fun, let's take a picture here. Just not trying to get, just to terrify her because it was a catastrophe and just she was really old. So with my phone was that desperate situation that I have like, I don't know if the half of the battery, but I have to really take care of the battery because the phone started just being vital. First of all, asking from all of my friends if, if they were okay, and then I realized, or they told me that my building, and my, didn't, my building didn't fell down, but it was really, really in bad situation, really cracked. We, we really know, we, we didn't know at that moment if we were just to be able just to get there to, for our staff and of course me and my grandmother have our passport there, documents. So it was a really, really worried situation. And in the first place then uh, I realized that we couldn't just came home, just we don't have home anymore. The city was a complete mess. So I start just asking, uh, just answering everybody that's asked me if, if I was okay, but in the other way, way was like, please don't ask me anymore. I need my phone, I need my battery to just to figure out what, I, what we're going to do. And finally, we, we stay at the pyramids up to the last time we couldn't. I just went to the bathroom just to charge the battery just a little bit because it was like the only place. It's like a desert there. There's nothing around. And then just we take a cab just to the town there and I use my phone just to figure out where were where old hotels and places to stay. It was a really, really, really small town so there were like not too many options. But thanks God, we find an amazing place that was then the place where my other roommates came and we stayed there like for a week just waiting from the, the whole situation like, to get clear because the city was absolutely in a catastrophe. It, it was like really bad situation. So thank God I had my phone with battery and wireless and signal and just I thanks God, nothing to my closest people and my friends, they were okay. Most of our houses like were just in really bad damage, but we all were just okay. Um, that was a blessing. Okay, I can just get longer or make it shorter or just put a lot of more details, but it's just a short